Hey, I'm Josh Gadboys. I'm a general contractor here in Massachusetts, and today we're going to be talking about ventilation for your basement. Now, you might be here in New England like I am, and you might have those windows in that below grade basement where you can see the dirt through the window, and you think, okay, if I just tilt that window out, that should be enough airflow, right? Well, you might be wrong. So today we're going to be talking about some of the code requirements for a basement when it comes to ventilating that space right. We're going to talk about a couple options that we use to make sure that the air you're breathing when a contractor is done is good, clean air. Stay tuned. So why do we need mechanical ventilation? Why do we need natural ventilation? Why does it even matter? Why is this a code? You ready? Namaste. <laughs> Had to get a namaste in there, but for real, clean air. So when you're when you're remodeling your basement, it is very damp, it's very moist, it's typically higher levels of humidity. Here in New England, we get we see much higher levels of humidity in a basement. We need something to vent that air out. Homes today are built so much tighter with air quality and just energy compliance than they used to be. For the most part, um, older homes didn't need these kind of things. You had so much drafts, air leakage, that you didn't have these issues. But now that homes are so airtight, air quality is actually typically four times worse in a newer home than it is the outside air of that same home. So there's two ways to get ventilation into your basement, natural and mechanical. Natural, you guessed it windows, doors, any kind of openings. A lot of times with below grade basements, that's really difficult to do, but let's go through the actual code. And then we're gonna be referencing the IRC chapter three and also the mechanical code in sections 1505 of building code. Now both of these state for the most part that whatever your floor space is of a habitable space, habitable meaning not a bedroom, but you're actually gonna be down there living, enjoying the space. That's how the code classifies habitable. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm not doing a bedroom, I don't need natural ventilation, get that out the door, you're still gonna need it. Whatever your floor area is, say it's a 120 square foot area here, we need 4% of the windows to actually open or doors to actually create that airflow area. So 120 square foot area here, like this room, 4% of that needs to be in the window opening. So really 4.8% of this window here that's in my office needs to open and let fresh air in. Now that gets a little complicated when you have a 1200 square foot basement. Now you need 48 square feet of net opening for windows, doors, etc. anything that's gonna let natural ventilation in. Typically walkout basements, we can achieve it if there's a lot of windows, a lot of doors, newer builds, we see this all the time. They kind of set it up ready for this. But if you don't, you need what's called mechanical ventilation. And there's a product that we use quite often, it's called Panasonic's Whisper Comfort ERV. It's a great product. Now, we're not endorsing it, but it's one of the low cost options to creating natural ventilation in your home. There are videos out there on this product that are way more geeked out. I'm not gonna get into it, but I will give you the basic details so you understand it. What it does, you can see here in the video, is it has an outlet and an inlet. And it also has an exchange unit inside the unit. And what that unit does is it regulates and exchanges and cleans the air and sends the, the old air out. Now, during that regulation, say you're on a hot summer day, any air that's coming in, that unit's actually gonna reduce the humidity by 40% in that unit. It is not a dehumidification system. That is different. This is just making sure any air that comes in is not, we're not bringing real muggy air into the unit. So it does a pretty good job for that. Now what's the cost of installation or investment to make sure you have clean air in your home in a basement? The Panasonic ERV system runs about two to $3,000 installed. Now if you compare that to a larger ERV system, a true ERV unit, this can be way more than $10,000 for a full air intake exhaust system for a whole home. So this actually does a really good job. And if you look at Panasonic spec sheet, if you have one or two bedrooms, this thing's gonna cover a two, 3,000 square foot space, no problem, where make sure the air exchange is gonna be regulated. They typically operate on an occupancy sensor. We do that here uh, with our installs. We actually put them on an occupancy sensors. So they just kick on. They're really meant to run all the time. And they're very quiet, you don't really hear them, but it's just a very low exchange. So if you're thinking about remodeling your basement here in New England or any other place, look into this option. We'll put a link in the comments below. You can check out this fan, uh, talk to your HVAC person or your contractor about having it installed. Very low investment and make sure, namaste, you're breathing that clean air. We'd really appreciate a subscribe. Give us a like, a follow. Our goal is to get as much content to you as possible to really make it easy to hire a contractor so you know exactly what you're getting into when you go to remodel the space. Thanks again, I'm Josh Gadboy signing out.